ren pi hello world let's download the exe and also just in case the download sdk zip yep hmm one hour just cancel and restart it's three minutes now one minute 30 seconds oh internet okay so here is the exe installer with a 7-zip logo and here is the zip file let's see if we need admin rights for that well we get this warning so we just run it anyway and we can pick a location let's pick this folder so it's just a self-extracting archive it's the same as the zip most likely just to be safe let's extract this as well so we have the same amount of bytes we have the same amount of so this one has a folder inside of it okay that explains it and this one just goes to the nitty and gritty well this one has a second layer all right so uh, the exe file is fine but if you prefer zip files it's the same thing so here we go into renpy 745 or whatever version you are using right now all right here's the renpy exe let's run it we can create a new project in here let's do that this annoying folder selector does not allow creating new folders or copy pasting the path so i'm going to cancel and quit create a new folder and then redo this process so i made a new folder in here manually so i'm going to press cancel and because i don't like the path that this picked for me i'm just going to press quit all right renpy again create a new project okay here we go hello world renpy you will be creating an English language project. Change the launcher language and preferences to create a project in another language. Okay. Anyways, I want an English game. And the name of the game will be Hello... Hello World. Is space okay? And the resolution should be... What? Let's go for 920 by 1080. I'm gonna go with dark green, like the matrix and stuff. Okay, continue. It's creating the project for me. It's updating to default interface translations. It's updating the project and it's done. Now hello world is in this list. When you left click it here, it's selected. So now we can start changing it. We can edit files, for example, script. Renpy offers a bunch of text editors. We're just gonna use the system editor, which most likely is notepad. Yeah, let's use system editor, which in my case is a notepad plus plus, but for you, it would probably be notepad. So let's just open the game directory. Hello, there we are. And here is the script uh, RPY file. And we're just going to open this in uh, Notepad. So now let's uh, change the definition of a character to hello world character. And then it starts in the background room. Okay. And it shows Eileen happy. And then she says you've created a new renpy game we could just change this line but instead we're going to create a new one before that press enter twice space 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 e space quotation marks hello world exclamation mark and quotation marks and then we're going to save this with Control s or save and now the question is how do we run this here launch project i suppose okay let's start the game and she is saying, Eileen, happy, is saying, hello world, character is saying, hello world. You've created a new Renpy game. Once you add a story, pictures and music, you can release it to the world. All right, and now let's package it. So we're just going to hit build distributions, PC, Windows and Linux and Mac. And then we're just going to press build. Okay, here we are. These zip files can now be uh, uploaded somewhere. Why is the PC one so much bigger? Perhaps because Mac always has already Python. So if we unzip this and play it. Okay, start. What the? Well, that didn't work. Hello world. But the image files did not work at all. So we're going to go to the game folder and uh, check out images. Whoops. Images. It's empty. Okay, so in this case it says the placeholder is used, but you can replace it. So we're going to change this. Um... Oh yeah, BG room. That's a... Uh background image i really don't like white space and file name so i'm gonna just rename it to hello world pg room and then this one's just gonna be hello world happy so itch.io has a lot of free resources for visual novels so i'm gonna just grab a few from here all right i'm gonna use this combination of her layers so now i'm gonna go to the images folder and paste this in here and call her 
what we had here hello world happy dot png will that work let's launch a project and see oh it worked we're just going to use modern school as the background and we're going to put it in the images folder and we're going to name it hello world bg room dot png let's launch it okay i don't like how it's there in the background and too small well we can also define the image hello world bg room as hello world bg room dot png and if we want to scale it which i do want to we just add im dot scale with uppercase s parentheses open and then to the size i want to scale it to i suppose with commas in between and parentheses close let's save again with Control s and launch a project it worked quick side note apparently spaces when you use spaces and file names they become tags so maybe you actually want to use spaces and file names for me i will have to get used to it and heck let's add some hello world music as well all right here's the music let's put it in the hello world game uh, audio folder here we are so let's uh, play this right at the beginning here space 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 hashtag play music enter space 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 by the way you shouldn't be using notepad for this you should use notepad plus plus or whatever other text editor atom i guess is the one that renpy recommends anyway so we're gonna play music and it's called hello world.ogg saving that launching the project let's start nope ha <laughs> nope that didn't work perhaps because it's in the music in the audio in the audio folder saving that Control s launching project yes so as opposed to images you have to do it a bit different with music apparently i am curious though let's undo this and because i don't have any other audio let's just rename this to music and uh, save this again and launch it and start yep didn't think so so undoing that it's audio again and undoing this it's audio again saved it and launching and it just abruptly stops so let's also stop the music by adding this here stop music and let's add a fade out fade out 1.0 seconds saving that and all right so that didn't work because it immediately returns let's just write pause one second saving Control s and launching again all right i could hear that it faded out let's build distributions one last time and extract this again and play it again music is here and will it fade out it sure did hello world complete i guess like we could do the start screen but you you know you just search for rent pie menu screen image or something like that or menu screen music and you will find stuff let me know if you need help with something specific i'm off to doing another rent p tutorial now see you there ciao